you know, it's, it's very important. Just tell the person, please, I'm the one, and I follow. I confess. Please give me up. Amen. Glory to God. Selected prayers for what? You must develop, if you want to pray a vengeance prayer, you must develop what I call holy anger. Holy anger. Can I hear someone say holy anger? Holy anger. You must develop holy anger for the wicked. You must be. Your anger should be very holy one yeah. for the wicked. You know, if you don't do that, you will not be able to pray effectively. You must develop it. Otherwise, they will donate you yes. to their covenant. If you, are, if you don't develop that holy anger to pray, and you are praying Chingon prayer, it's like when you see a madman coming with knife, yeah. or coming with four by, four by six, wood, you know this wood? Yes. wood. Three by six or four by six. Four by four by four. You know it because you are good in building. I'm not good in building. I'm good in buying the building they have already built. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen. You see them coming with that? And you stand and you close your eyes and say, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. You would break your head. Yes. There are things you do. You do should, your eyes should be open. Amen. The Bible says, watch and pray. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I want to tell you this is very important. Let's go quickly to the Bible. If you have your Bible, I'm going to give you those scriptures that will help you for vengeance. Because our case is urgent, so we need. We need this. We need to go to God's armory and bring out angel what? My, my all the archangel. I don't know their name. Anyone available should be released. My toe. Amen. Amen. Can I say this? <laughs> we want, we want Amen. Amen. I told you what my my grandchild said to me the other day. My daughter. He said to me that. Let me repeat it. I said it the other day. Let me just repeat it again. My grandchild called me on the phone and we are talking. He said to me, there's something they told me, that I want, Grandpa, I want to ask you. I said, go ahead. He said, they say that uh, Satan disobeyed God in heaven. Is that true? I say, yes. He said, and they send him out of heaven. Is that true? I say, yes. And they send him here. <laughs> <laughs> I say, yeah, they send him to the earth. He said, no. We should tell God to come and take him back because if Satan cannot live with God there, is it us he can live with here? <laughs> a small child. Yeah. You know, I, I've never seen that like that before. But she said, no, we have to tell God to take him out of this place because he will cause trouble here too. Yeah. If he just, if God sent him out. And I begin to research and I discover that the person that sent him out of heaven is Michael, the archangel. Yeah. So for him to live here too, we have to deploy another as an angel. Yeah. So God is not getting this. Yes. So God that finishes his own, so it's left for you to bring your own archangel to yes. send Satan out of your head. Out of your head. Yeah. Are you ready to pray? Yes. We're going to pray because this illustration today will really help us. Now there's something the Bible says in the book of Psalm chapter 7 verse 11. I call it Operation 711. He said, God judge righteousness and God is angry with the wicked every day. Amen. God judge, God don't judge the wicked. He judge righteousness. Amen. Then he is angry with the wicked. With the wicked. Every day. Every day. Not some days. Every day. Every day. So if you want God to work for you, first God will judge your righteousness. And see whether you have envy in you. Yes, yes, Wickedness yes, in yes, you. Yes, yes. All those kind of evil back and out in you. Yes, Talking people down in you. Unforgiveness in you. Yes, yes. If God discover you have it, he will not have it for you. Yes. Until God. You see, people don't understand. God always judge righteousness. So when you come to church and you want God to fight for you, he will first judge you. He will know whether your born again is born again or born against. Yes. <laughs> he will know whether you are the person that smile in your in, and shows your daddy six teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and you, your heart is dark. Yes. <laughs> Go, talk, 
righteousness. Yeah. But he is angry to the wicked. So yeah. it's easy for God to fight for you. All you need to do, make your mind. Just be okay. Yes. Yeah. In Trinidad, why God has not been fighting for a lot of people? Because some of us are angry over our parents. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Some have never forgiven their father because their father never minded. Yeah. Some never forgive their mother because their mother never minded. Yeah. Their job is not to mind you. Their job is to produce you. Amen. You don't join your mother to be angry with your father. You don't know what separates two of them. Yes. You have to be happy that you are here. Yeah. If you try to join them and they refuse to join themselves, join yourself with your own wife and move ahead. Yeah. But some are too angry with their parents. So many were even too angry with their ex-boyfriends, not even. Yeah. Nothing else, not even husband. Boyfriend. Ex. <laughs> they are still angry if your mind is full of anger how can God work for you it's difficult that is why things have not worked there are many people that want to be prophetic before you can be a successful prophet or prophetess your heart as a matter of fact, you must forgive people before they even offend you. Yes. So true. So true. Forgive them before they offend you. That is why I don't have friends. But if I take you as my friend, I know you will offend me. I forgive you before you offend me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop. If, before I bring you as my friend, I know you will offend me. If you are from Trinidad, I know you will behave like them. You have, you have, you have like plus minus. Let me not talk too much. 50% character. Of Trini. So I, I, I made up my mind to forgive you ahead if I bring you close. What am I trying to say? God always judge. Listen to me. For God to fight battle, He has to judge you first. Because there is no way you can come and tell God to kill me and God will just come and kill me. He will know why do you want me to kill. Amen. So if I want God to do something, first God has to judge me. And know whether I am guilty of what I want God to do for me. Amen. Amen. You are running man and you don't want your man to run woman. Hey. Does it make sense? Hey. <laughs> no, no, no. Does it make sense? Best of this and feather is flying together and one is crying that one should, one wind should cut off. If that wind should cut off, your own wind will first of all do what? Cut off. Cut off. Amen. Because I can't, I can't say that. My husband is following man, he's following that Creole girl from back row so. And you are following a Creole, a Creole man from back row so. And you want him not to follow the other one, then you are following. Yeah. It doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. No. So that's why you pray and pray and pray, God will not answer. Because you are doing the same thing that he's doing. Yeah. The yeah. difference is that maybe he's doing his own openly and you're doing your own. It's <laughs> For this vengeance day, my curse is urgent. God needs to judge. Because things has to change. Can I just because I hear you? I hear you. If God is angry with the wicked every day, including today. Do you hear what I said? Yes. If God is angry with the wicked every day, plus what? Today. Why are you not angry with the wicked also? You see, that is why sometimes. If I discover you have a wicked heart, I keep you very far. I will just be smiling with you because I will just entertain you in the church because church is a hospital. Some are sick. Some are mentally derailed in church at the end Some are in coma. Some are in oxygen. Some are pregnant in labor. Someone that having labor pain, and you never know spiritually this person is in labor to deliver. Yes. She's so aggressive, yes. and you are coming to tell her, I love you, you wish coffee, you all, you know. <laughs> because he's in labor. It's only a stupid person that will go to mental home and stay, sit down quietly and be pressing food. 
Because you don't know who is mental person. Yeah. Because it's a mental hospital. Yeah. Yeah. So when you go to mental hospital, everybody you see is mental. Just Amen. believe that you are the only one that is normal. Yes. Even when a doctor comes to talk to you, be very careful because one mental patient may just go to doctor's room, and yes. take his garment, wear and come and say, hey. <laughs> Amen. Amen. So I'm trying to let you know this because it's very important. Amen. If God, is, so when I see somebody that have a wicked spirit, mm-hmm. after this church, I am the last person that will talk to you yes. apart from preaching to you. Yes. Amen. Because I know you are wicked yes. and you don't want to live your wicked way. Yes. Yeah. So my job is to be preaching for you to change. Yeah. And the change. It's only you that want to, or you don't want to. Amen. On my closet, I will say, God, please touch him, touch him. But not me, touch you. <laughs> or come to you. Yeah. Because you are wicked. Yeah. There are many people that are wicked. Wickedness is not just, wickedness is a very bad spirit. Yes. Very bad spirit. Wickedness can pretend that it's good, but yeah. behind is so wicked. Yes. Planning. There are some people that can kill you, and they are the one that set you up, and they are the one that will tell you sorry. They are the one that will tell your husband, go and follow another person with that girl. And when your husband follow their advice and go and follow, because they know the girl, they come back to the lady. You know your husband is crazy, sister, so and so. Ask you, ask you. I've seen them. But don't call my name, you know. I'm, I'm watching yes, you. Yes, yes. I will call your name. Yes, yes. <laughs> I will call your name. Call if you don't want me to call your name, don't talk to me. Yes. Hey, call your name. I will call your name. So, any person that wants to talk to me, make sure you're talking to me. You're talking to CNC then. I will talk, I will call, I will call up your name. Amen? You can't come and tell me about something.